What's up, Sneaky Nation? Sneaky P back with week number four of the preseason here in our Los Angeles Crusaders franchise. It's the Crusaders get ready to take on the New York Giants. The Crusaders are one and two coming into this game. Finishing the preseason off strong would definitely kind of give us some momentum going into the regular season. And this is the Giants team that I feel pretty comfortable that we can beat. Of course, it's all going to come down to our backups. Is Prina Sherman going to be able to step up again and lead this Crusaders offense? Or is he going to struggle, kind of like we saw Reginald McElroy do earlier on in the preseason? Let's go ahead and check out the Giants lineup. We know Tom Parker there is their quarterback, 82 overall, only 24 years old. Matt Scott, a familiar face from our Cougars franchise. Curse is going to be their running back, Jed Collins. Percy Harvin, T.Y. Hill, Nodell Beckham Jr. leading the way at the wide receiver position for him, including Goodwin, Kreiner, and Britt as well. Greg Olson and Martellus Bennett are going to be the tight ends here. A good left tackle, a good center, and a good right tackle. Outside of that, their guards are kind of weak a little bit. Uh, defensively, they definitely got some playmakers across the board. Brandon Spikes joining LeJean Knight in New York for the Giants here. Uh, so we have two Crusader veterans, two fan favorites here, or at least LeJean Knight was, and including Jordan Mack. They brought Jordan Mack over one of the Mack brothers, so they are stacking up on some former Crusaders as well as uh, friends of the Crusaders, I should say. Dwayne Gratz from our uh, Jaguars Cougars franchise as well over here. And then Bradford Patrick. Definitely a lot of guys that are able to make plays. And we're going to have to avoid LeJean Knight and Brandon Spikes because they are going to be out for blood. Let's kick things off here. And this is going to be returned by Harvin, who takes it up past the 20 to about the 25-yard line. And that is where Parker will get things going, handing the ball off the curse here. Juking back inside. A great run to start things off for the Giants. A 13-yard gain there. First and 10 on the right side, a two-yard gain. Second and eight now. This is Greg Olson, who has a reception of five yards. Now, Curse gets stuffed. No, he doesn't. He broke the tackle and picked up the first down. What a play from the running back there. A little screenplay is not going to work. Second and ten to hand off to Miller on the right side. And Miller still on his feet down to the 46-yard line. Third and six. Now, Parker, pressure coming. He avoids the sack and finds Kreiner, who takes it all the way down to the 21-yard line. First and ten for the Giants. Now, Parker going to try to run it on a read option, and he will pick up a yard. Now, Curse again up the middle, gaining eight more. Third and one, a little pitch here, and that's not going to be good enough for a first down. Fourth and three, the Giants are going to settle for a field goal and take a 3 nothing lead here early on. A few huge plays from that Giants offense against our defense definitely has me worried. Devin Golden gets things going with a 12-yard run. Tack on 15 with a face mask penalty. Now, Golden again going to pick up nine more. Second and one now. King up the middle. Easy first down all the way to the 26-yard line. The Crusaders are marching down the field quickly as Yakov Moody has the reception all the way to the six-yard line. First and goal for the Crusaders to the end zone. Check here, Gaten. Touchdown, Los Angeles Crusaders. They will take the lead 7-3 to three here early on as the second quarter begins. First and 10 now, hand off to Miller for the Giants. Breaking one tackle, trying to break a second. That's not going to work. First and 10 now, Bess right up the middle. Easy first down for the Giants and more. 16-yard run there. Bess again up the middle, and he is going to pick up about six more. Second and four now. This is Miller on the outside. Shy of that first down mark, though. It's going to be third and two play action. Matt Scott scrambling now and he has a first down for the Giants to the 38 yard line another handoff here great little spin move still on his feet all the way down to the 25 yard line what a run there as Miller comes in on the right side and they are running it all over the Crusaders defense right now definitely not looking good early on for the Crusaders second and six on the right side this is Martellus Bennett shy of that first down mark third and one a pitch to Miller he's going to avoid the tackle and find his way into the end zone touchdown for the New York Giants 10 to 7 is going to be the score here as we have less than two minutes to go here before halftime. Prina Sherman taking over on the right side. Intercepted immediately by Rivera. And that is going to set the Giants up with incredible field position once again. Down to the 27-yard line already. Matt Scott looking to capitalize a poor throw there. It's going to be second and 10. Matt Scott in the pocket. Pressure on its way. He is going down. Third and 17 here for the Giants. Trying to get into field goal range of nothing else. And they will do just that. Out to kick the field goal. 13 to 7 is going to be the score. Under a half minute to go here before halftime. Crusaders 
have to make a decision whether to run the clock out or try to make something happen. That's getting swatted down. Second and 10. Prina Sherman looking down the field. And this is Buckware all the way to the 36-yard line. Eight seconds to go here. And now Mendenhall has a reception with four seconds to go. They call a timeout. And Chuck Vaughn kicks a field goal 13-10 to as we head into the second half. Back in the second half, the Crusaders are going to start off with the ball and a little bit of momentum that is immediately taken away by Dwayne Gratz. Another interception here for Prina Sherman, and Gratz is going to take this down to the 26-yard line. Matt Scott, once again, great starting field position here. Second and six now. Scott looking on the right side. Another completion all the way down to about the 12-yard line here. First and 10 for the Giants, and that is out of bounds. Second and six after the four-yard gain. A spin move cutting back inside. And that's not going to work. Third and four here. Matt Scott needs to capitalize with the touchdown. Instead, they have to settle for a field goal. The defense for the Giants is doing great things to get him good field position. And Matt Scott in this offense just cannot seem to capitalize. Second and seven now. Sherman on the right side finds Buck Ware, who has been huge so far in this game. Third and one. King has a first down and more taking it down to the 46-yard line of Giants territory. King again up the middle, picking up nine. Second and one. Hand off to King, and he is going to fall forward, picking up that first down Prina Sherman from the 36 yard line down the field Shakir Gaten touchdown Los Angeles Crusaders as they jump back out on top 17 to 16 is going to be the score here about two minutes to go in the third quarter and Matt Scott needs to get this offense going because the Crusaders offense when they are not turning it over they seem to be putting points up on the board first and 10 now Scott gets the ball away to Olsen and Olsen still going all the way up to the 48 yard line an 18 yard play there first and 10 Matt Scott avoids the sack holding onto the ball and now Azur gets his second interception of the preseason the rookie making it happen once again that is a good sign of things to come for the crusaders they are counting on him to step up as part of the replacement for prince amukamara and he is looking like the real deal shakir gaten makes a catch all the way down to the 18 yard line and now buckware once again all the way to the three first and goal for the crusaders this one is almost intercepted second and goal to the end zone buckware touchdown los angeles crusaders and Buck Ware looking like a good sleeper pick for the Crusaders. He has made a lot of big plays throughout the preseason and really standing out today. 24-16 to is the score as we are in the fourth quarter. The Giants down eight. Need to get a touchdown and a two-point conversion to tie the game. That was Miller down the right side of the field to the 36-yard line. And it is going to be second and six after the four-yard completion. Matt Scott finds Britt all the way up to midfield. A little bit past it to the 49-yard line of Crusader territory. On the left side, this is caught out of bounds. Second and ten, hand off to Miller. On his feet, still going to take it down to the 44-yard line. Third and four now for the Giants. Pressure on its way. And that is Olsen, the rookie free safety, getting the sack. King and the Crusaders taking over, looking to waste this clock down. Prina Sherman barely getting the ball away there. Third and seven now on the left side. Sherman overthrows Gaten by a mile there. The Giants have the ball back in. An opportunity to tie this ball game. Second and five. Goodwin holds onto the ball in traffic as we hit the two-minute warning. He picked up the first down, though. First and ten on the right side. Martellus Bennett has another first down to the 35. Matt Scott on a screen play to Miller. The 30-25-20. And it is going to be a first and 10 as best gets dragged down there. Second and 10 now. Matt Scott on the left side. This is Mitchell with the interception. JVM Mitchell making it happen for the Crusaders. And that could be the nail that seals the deal for the Giants. Matt Scott cannot believe it. And the Crusaders just going to look to waste the Giants timeouts and run this clock out as Motes picks up nine there. Motes again has the first down. Giants have one timeout left. Moats on the right side going to pick up three more. Second and seven. Moats up the middle, still on his feet, and he has a first down. The Crusaders will take a few needs, and 24 to 16 is going to be the score. The Crusaders winning the last two games of the preseason to improve to two and two throughout it. Uh, winning the last two is definitely good for momentum, though. Things are looking good as we are heading into the regular season. Azur, two interceptions throughout the preseason for him. Got to be stoked about that. <clears throat> And Prina Sherman has secured the backup quarterback spot. Uh, you know, a fourth quarter comeback here. He had a great week three in the preseason. 88.7 quarterback rating, 8 of 14, 
131 yards for him. Stuart Denny, only one of one for 20 yards. Uh, three touchdowns for Sherman to two interceptions. Those two interceptions were pretty bad, but he made up for it with that fourth quarter drive. King, six carries, 36 yards, six yards. A carry, Weisler, Motes, four carries for 21 yards. Buck Ware, four catches, 51 yards for the rookie. Shakir Gaten, three catches, 62 yards, and two touchdowns for him. Yeah, Cobb Moody had that 20-yard reception. And Hunter Hurst, once again, leading the way in tackles for us, eight total. Uh, only two sacks for Anel McCray and Sheldon Olsen, the rookie, picking up those two sacks. Two interceptions, JVM Mitchell and Abdullah Azur, the rookie from Auburn, making the play happen the second time in this preseason. Chuck Vaughn did kick a field goal. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Please hit that like button if you enjoyed, and I will see you guys next time. Later.